Paul, an apostle. That's all we're dealing with right now, by the way. Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ, or Yeshua Mashiach, the God, the, and God the Father who raised him from the dead and all the brethren who were with me. Now, very, very interesting. Where this is called, Galatians is called the Declaration of Independence for, for, for leaving the, the Jewish bondage is how it's understood very much in the, in the Christian church. The Judaism, that's all bondage, that's all evil, we want to get away from that. That's uh, the rudimentary things of this world, they call it that stuff too. But uh, Paul refers to himself when speaking to the Galatians as the apostle, apostle of Jesus Christ, right? An apostle, as an apostle, uh, not from man nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father. Now, twice elsewhere, he also in the New Testament, Paul refers to himself as a servant. Romans 1, 1, when he introduces himself to the, to the Roman church, he says, Paul, the servant of Jesus Christ. In Titus 1, 1, when he writes the letter to Titus, he, he refers to himself, Paul, the servant of God. Now, here's the interesting thing. You can't be a servant and be free at the same time, can you? You're either one or the other. Does that make sense? You're either free or you're not. So is Paul contradicting himself when he calls himself, he's a, an apostle, one of, big, one of the big guys to the Galatians, but he's a servant or a slave to the Romans and to Titus? Well, it's a misunderstanding of the word apostle. Okay. Who haven't I picked on? Keith. Keith, you're a good one. I'll pick on you. <laughs> if you want to go into business, what kind of business do you want to go in? You want to sell seafood? Give me something easy. Let's go to hackers. Okay, you wanna you wanna teach karate. Yes. And you wanna you wanna build karate. We're called dojos, right? Build dojos all around the nation. The Keith Stannard Shaolin version of, of karate, right? So okay. So you teach you teach your 15, 20 guys that you wanna be your instructors, okay, to teach karate your way. And you send them out to all these places around the around the country. All right? So you go and check on them every six months or so to make sure they're doing things right. They can get, rack up your frequent flyer miles. And you go, you, everything's going great. And you go to this one guy, some guy named Nathan, I don't know. And he says, uh, <laughs> and you start watching him. And, he, and he's, got these, he's got these really interesting kickbox moves that he saw on some movie somewhere. It wasn't what you taught him. It was something else. So you approach him. He says, that's not the right way of doing that. This is the way we do that. How would, how would that conversation continue if he says, well, I understand, but this is just the way we do it here because it's going to work well with these people? How would you respond to that? I would probably treat like a professional. So at what point... Now, when you sent him out, he was your employee. He was your representative of you to these other people. At what point did he cease being your representative? Right. So exactly, you must have. We didn't. I didn't coach him on that. So that's a, that's what a a an apostle is. An apostle is one that's been sent out with authority to perform in the name or to to in, in the name or in the authority or with the with the stamp of approval of the person that sent them. Okay? Now, if you, right, it's exactly, an apostle is an ambassador, same thing. So, he's not free to go and make things up as he goes along, is he? No. In fact, it's actually interesting because Matthew 28, 19, and 20, when Messiah says to the, uh, says to the, his apostles, he says, go out into all the world and teach them all things whatsoever I commanded you, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. He didn't say go out and teach all things whatsoever that are appropriate that fit within their cultural understanding. But that's the way it's been brought to understand. No, but Messiah Yeshua was a Jewish rabbi. He was a Jewish teacher. Okay. He taught his 12 disciples, all of them being Jews, within the context and the understanding of Judaism. And then he told them to go out and teach everything, in fact, in Greek, all things whatsoever, Means don't leave anything out. That doesn't mean you don't. Doesn't give the idea. Doesn't allow you to add anything new either. 
Okay, you're 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 teaching ex as if he was your replacement. In fact, actually, the whole apostle idea from a teacher thing when when uh, when a rabbi, a roving rabbi, would go around the area and they would teach different areas, and all the people that enjoyed his teaching and follow would follow him, and then he would select specific people out of that group to replace him because he knew that he wasn't going to live forever. That's what the twelve was. That, that was that idea when they were chosen. They were basically to be his represent to his replacement to go on out. That was understood from the beginning, from the point he was. They were chosen. So the idea that that Paul would go out and and start a new a, a new understanding for the Gentiles that's different than the teaching that Messiah gave doesn't mean doesn't make him an apostle. That makes him an entrepreneur. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 starting his own kind of business. Starting something new. And actually, if you look at the, the dogmas and the doctrines of the Christian church, it's understood that Paul started something new. Something absolutely new happened with the Pauline teaching. Uh, unfortunately, that's because they read it from a, from a Gentile perspective, looking back, using Paul's writings as a, as a paradigm, instead of going back to the Torah as the foundation, which is what Paul did. Yeah. Are you tearing apart the 30-year-old? Okay, so, um, very first thing, so uh, Paul was an apostle. He was sent with authority to do things within the context, without the, within the confines of what God told him to do, which is the Torah. 